Good afternoon. Uh, we're on day three of Intersec um, in Dubai, 2023, and we've had a fantastic couple of days. I am with um, Majid al Majuri from Tabra Trading, who is our UAE partner. Um, we've been working together for about a year now. Um, we've become good friends as well. So I just want to introduce you to, to Majid. We're just going to have a little chat about the UAE market. Uh, thank you, Sam, for having me. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, no, fantastic. I think we just, um, it was just really just to tell some some of the LinkedIn followers and followers just a bit about what we're doing in the UAE market and maybe what you like about the products, really, and what, what attracted you to, to work with us. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, um, uh, first of all, we're happy to say that uh, we've been installing a uh, reacting system on uh, school buses. Uh, we have uh, we have so far uh, more than 500 buses installed with the reacting system. Uh, we've also been working with the taxis, and we've got more than 200 taxis in Dubai uh, fitted with our fire suppression system. Um, I think the uh, the things that we really uh, like, or I really personally like about the reacting system, is that it's very simple, uh, and it's it's longevi longevity. So uh, you know. Uh, the system doesn't have to be connected to power. Uh, the system could be uh, placed to protect uh, a vehicle or protect a data panel, and it could be uh, there for about uh, 10 years without you having to uh, really uh, do real ma maintenance to it. So uh, being, having a reliable system like that uh, to protect houses, to protect vehicles, I think uh, is a very important thing. Um, I believe more people need to, to know about this device. Uh, and I'm sure uh, many people will be interested in protecting uh, either their houses, their, their, da their data, uh, through data servers, their vehicles, um, even the, their kitchens. So uh, it's nice, uh, it's, it's very important. We're very happy to be working uh, with Reactin and to have met uh, great people like Sam, Ed, and uh, Jim, and everyone else. And uh, I think we started with vehicles and machinery, but uh, I see us moving way beyond that. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I was just thinking as you were talking. We've had we spent quite a bit of time together during the office, and we actually, you know, we've. You take me out to the desert. The desert yeah, um, we had some cool. great, great time in the desert off-roading, and, um, and and that was fantastic. And we actually we've been talking about other markets, like getting into the high-performance right. car market and um, developing a system for you know for Lamborghinis, which occasionally yeah. like going up in flames. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so I don't know if it's the the Lamborghini engine or it's our heat or it's a combination of both, but. Uh, there is a lot of people or tourists who come here and rent uh, really high-end cars, supercars, and they would drive it like they want. I mean, that's yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's their right. But however, uh, engines do get caught on fire, and uh, the loss of the uh, of the car would really cost the uh, rental company. Uh, it would it would it would damage uh, or, or affect them. So. To introduce a system that would protect uh, their vehicles, they would feel, you know, a, a bit more comfortable yeah. uh, giving it to anyone and having them do whatever they want with it. Uh, we also have a lot of cars that are very uh, modified for the desert, and uh, they they quite get uh, they do catch on fire from time to time. So um, you were in Liwa the other day, didn't you? And you sent me the pictures absolutely. of a couple so, of couple uh, cars. Liwa, uh, Liwa festival happens at the end of uh, December, and it, everyone goes there who is yeah. who love cars or even just slightly want to see something else. So um, a lot of cars did catch on fire. Uh, everyone is safe, you know. Uh, safety precautions are, are taken yeah. from um, clothing and and uh, and personnel around that. However, the damage already uh, has been done after yeah. the car catches on fire, and, and uh, really, uh, it's it's a loss of uh, a lot of money. So uh, that's a step. Uh, 
we were ta- we're we're thinking of uh, introducing uh, the system to uh, to this type of or this community, yeah. where they can uh, consider protecting their vehicles uh, with a reliable system, like I said. Yeah, I think that's yeah. I enjoy spending the time coming coming up with new 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 product ideas, and the great thing now, as you know, with the, with the change in the manufacturing um, and the machine shop back in the UK. Um, we can develop it, and it's only been in for the last uh, sort of two, four weeks properly. Mm-hmm. Second CNC machine came in um, only two, three weeks ago. So, with the development of this product, these kind of products, we can actually speed up. So, yeah, it's really, really, really exciting. So, that's uh, that's something I just want to add on. Uh, something that I really uh, liked is that when uh, we worked with the taxi. We were looking at where to place the cylinder, yeah. and then we found it best to be uh, put uh, leaf flat. Uh, we didn't have a leaf flat. Uh, we didn't have a leaf flat uh, cylinder. No, not that but point, no. It was it was communicated quickly with reactant that taxis in Dubai or the UAE would be best fitted with a leaf flat system, and within a few months we had a, a leaf flat system. Yeah. So um, this is something I, uh, we really appreciate is that the understanding of the some of the challenges that we would face here in the UAE that were different from the other world yeah. and the uh, speed of finding a solution uh, to accommodate that. So uh, yeah. that's something I really No, it's the same. I, I really enjoy working with you on it, coming up with the ideas. So yeah, no, it's fantastic. Really, really good. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, yeah. for having us. Uh, really nice talking to you. Yeah, as always. Right. Thanks, Matthew.